Hello, my beautiful and talented people. Thank you so much for everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, booking readings. It all matters, and I'm really grateful. Uh, today, we are asking, how do others see you? Now, there's pile one, pile two, pile three, pile four. Just take a moment, pick which one feels like the right pile for you, and we're going to move on to our gorgeous pile number ones. Hello, my gorgeous pile number ones. <laughs> How do others see you? Page of sorts. So they might see you as inquisitive. But I'm going to get a few cards down. Hard working. Ooh, you definitely have leadership energy. You're somebody who... You're... You take agency in your life. You... That even... I'm, I'm even getting with, uh, with the tower. I feel like you've had some kind of situation... Where somebody was, where things were unfair, um, whether it's a person, whether it's a system. But what it did is it showed who you are. It showed that you are a powerful person. It showed that you're a hard worker. It showed that you um, are always searching for more knowledge. So people... I feel like through the difficulty that you dealt with, people have seen your strength. With the Wheel of Fortune, even though you've been through difficulty and had things fall apart, like people, people see things turning in your favor and they see it um, because they just feel like the person that you are, that you will take whatever new opportunity you have and you will work and, you know, move forward with passion and, you know, people see you, people see you as making your own luck. Like they see you, that it's not that you're individually lucky, that they, they see you as somebody that you take whatever is in front of you and with your own power, you... You make something that's, you know, with uh, with the Two of Cups, it's about equal partnerships. Like, people feel like, people like to see you succeed because people see that when you succeed, you help other people succeed. That you are somebody who's, whose success leads to other people's success. With the tower coming out a second time. And funny, because I was just thinking about this tower when it came out. You've really had to start from scratch. With the... With the Page of Cups. Because I don't feel like you're in the Page of Cups energy. Only because, like, I mean, that can be about giving affection. That can be the things. But I feel like... I'm I'm almost getting, like... It's it's like people expected when, when 
you know, very difficult things happened that, that you might, you know, I feel like they, they saw you as they didn't see the power in you. I mean, they, they kind of assumed that you'd fall apart. And it's not even people who, because I feel like, yes, there was like some, with the Five of Swords being on it, I feel like there are some people who were a person, a job, something that, that was like set up um, for you to fail. But I feel like even the people, it's not even the people that, I feel like a lot of people projected um, how they would react um, on how you would react. Um, and instead that they found that you were just incredibly strong. That you, so people... <laughs> Okay, I feel like people acknowledge that you've been through like a serious shakeup in your life um, and you are like, it's almost like you're unwilling to accept that it's just, uh, you know, it's, it's, you still accept that there's the losses. It's just that you're, it's, I, it's, you've got this energy like, there's no accepting defeat. Um, and that you just, and because of that, you're just making your comeback. Um, in a way that's like, you know, you're bouncing back in a way that uh, is truly impressive to the people around you. So with the Two of Cups, because that could be about partnership, it can be about romantic, but I feel like for you, um, I think that people realize that they want to give to you because of how much you give to people. Like uh, it's with the, uh, with the King of Swords. Yeah, I feel like uh, you, because of this loss, and I think that you did also deal with people, did people feel the same loss? I feel like that there, some of you might have had somebody who like dealt with something really poorly. Um, you, however, have set very clear boundaries about what what can and can't be in your life um especially the the people who um yeah if somebody causes a severe problem in your life was this about a love interest is that about a love interest for some of you because i feel like the lovers is coming in so like it's like you cleared out I'm getting more like you cleared out and anybody at anything that was toxic in your life because you're, you've made a conscientious choice to, uh, to, yeah, that you're, you're going towards things that are also going to take care of you whether it's uh you know you're looking for a working situation that will take care of you like you uh, as much as you fully intend to take care of it it's just your it's like your watchword is mutuality but keep in mind you have the lovers the two of cups 
people think that you're very lovable. Um, I feel like, you know, not all of you are in any kind of relationship, uh, but I feel like a lot of you have a lot of people who would love to be in a relationship with you because you are, you know, very desirable, very, you know, like that fire energy of you will take action. You, you have your own internal, you know, leadership and inspiration and charisma. Um, and you know, you're very attractive. So people see you as somebody that they would love to, that they would love to love. <laughs> And I mean, it, uh, you know, not just on a physical level, but, you know, you definitely, you definitely get people in your, uh, in their emotions, especially regarding just your courage. So the hanged man that came out and the two of wands. Now, I don't feel like you're in the hangman energy. I feel like sometimes the people who are attracted to you um, get a little bit intimidated by you um, just because you are so attractive. You, you know, there is a lot of you know, you do inspire a lot of affection and you are also very, very willing to cut out people who don't treat you right. So sometimes people may take a while coming forward towards you. Um, and you know, that's up to them, but I feel like you're regardless, you're not waiting on anybody. Um, you're, you're, you've been consistently making decisions to move forward, to, to change your luck, to, to overcome. And you might've had, you know, two serious events or like, um, one of these, uh, things could be. Sometimes your actions and reactions in this situation might have had people truly have to just reimagine what they thought about you. Like they, people realize that they had no idea the depth of you. So as much as there's two towers in this uh, situation, um, and you know, and there is definitely a five of swords that caused one tower and you know, like people see that you've had heartbreak and, and you know, and people do feel like even though you came out as the King of Swords, I feel like people don't think that you're cold hearted. Uh, I feel like people feel like you've dealt with a lot of car cold hearted um, energy, um, which has caused you heartbreak, but like people see how you've handled it and they just think it's you're amazing. Yeah. It's like the tower fell down. That's okay. I'm superhuman. Like, so people, and we all know that, you know, you, you're, you're, you know, you are human, you know, you are dealing with, uh, with things, but like the, what you, how you dealt with the situ, uh, the hands you've been dealt, the situations you've been dealt has made a huge impression on people. Um, and I feel like, you know, it, it's only made you more attractive. 
I feel like you, even though you've been cutting out people who any, like I'm like any person, place, thing that is toxic, I feel like you have been cutting and setting boundaries in, but you yourself, despite the heartbreak, you've actually remained in a very loving energy. You've just been about one step forward, like what's my next action, paying attention to that, you know, and you're still moving forward in this loving energy. Um, yeah, you... You have just like handled everything with grace. And I think that's because despite anything that happened to you, you've realized that you ultimately are the one that is in charge of your fate. You're ultimately the person who can move and steer things towards your, uh, you know, you're... If so, if you've been harmed, you're the person who can heal you. Um, I I noticed that um, suddenly my voice um, has changed, so I'm wondering if you've really found your voice. <clears throat> I feel like you're still finding your voice. That you are still because it wasn't something that was small, but. You have taken control and agency of yourself. You're like, I'm in charge of me. What's my next objective? And I feel this hangman energy. I feel like sometimes that, because I'm not getting you being stuck. I feel like, you know, you may have had a revelation. You may have seen something different, but I feel like it's, 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 other people being stuck in regards to you. And as I say that, suddenly I can speak again. There's definitely somebody who wants to speak something to you, like wants to tell you some type of truth or, um, and <laughs> I just heard ha hasn't had the guts. So I don't know if this is somebody that may have been responsible for wronging you. Yeah, there may be somebody who who did do something to wrong you um, and has since realized that, that you are, you know, you're not, you're not on the plane that they thought you were. You're not, you're not the person that they thought you were, um, that you are actually somebody that is way more powerful, uh, way more in control, way more willing to make actions forward. So, um, if this is somebody that did you wrong, but didn't expect you to, you know, move on, um, yeah, they, they now feel stuck. If, especially if they were trying to make you feel stuck, they only put themselves, they only tied themselves up. So, with the quartz horse, this is about clarity. A horse is about freedom. So I feel like you got clarity and you took your agency. You took your freedom. You moved forward. And I feel like it's also made other people truly have to, it just broke any limitations that people felt, you know, the, the, it, it, it broke you out of any, any compartment that, you know, people had, you know, conveniently put you in. Like people realize that you're, you're a whole different, you know, a whole different animal than, than what they expected that you're, it's almost like, yeah, people see you as, as just uh, like bad things may have happened. Bad things did happen. Um, but that's because, you know, they weren't built on a strong foundation 
And instead of breaking you, they just set you free. Yeah. Um, I feel like that there is at least uh, somebody who wants to, you know, offer you an olive branch. Um, like I said, there are some people who, excuse me, there are some people who may have done you wrong that um, have realized that you're not, you're not the person that they thought you were. And I feel like um, you're also not the person that they used to know. That there is something that there is something about the whole experience that made you stronger. That I feel like you were always stronger than this person gave you credit for. Um, but what it uh, what it did is you know you've since completely galvanized your strength um and i feel like some of these uh some people do want to come back from the past do want to um i feel like some of it is just you know they realize that they're missing out. So it's not like you need to let anybody come back. Do you need to let anybody come back? I feel like there are going to be people who, you know, look at you now and like, and, you know, are so impressed that they want access back into your life. Um, but whether you, you certainly don't need to allow anybody back in your life um especially if they did did harm to you i mean even if you uh, even if you choose to forgive them uh it is uh that doesn't mean that they get to come back uh so you uh, obviously get to make a decision on that by case by case but um People have seen you. People do realize that you are way, way more impressive than they ever realized. Um, and that you are at a place where you're, you're not taking anybody's issues on as your own. You know, if, if, if people are bringing negativity like there, there's a difference between, you know, sometimes people, everybody deals with issues and you definitely know what it's like to deal with an issue, but, um, you just don't want to bring in the people who consistently create issues. All right. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. We're going to move on to pile number two, but I wanted to say um, thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting in all matters. I'm really appreciative. And um, I am doing a, for a giveaway as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers. So just make sure that you are both subscribed and you comment and you're in the running. So my gorgeous pile number twos. How do others see you? The Empress. The Page of Swords. The Hanged Man. And the Queen of Pentacles. People see you as somebody who's very stable, very nurturing, very loving. you're like an emotional rock with the hanged man and the page of swords. With the hanged man, I, I'm getting an energy of stillness. Like also these, these characters are like sitting the hanged man. Like they see you as 
all right, like that you're people see you as somebody that is is like an emotional rock is you know deeply in your power and it's almost like you're in your power of stillness like you're in that it's it's like you're bringing things to you and of course the wheel of fortune on the bottom with the page of page of swords i feel like people are watching what you do because they see you It's like they see you bringing in the good fortune to you. Uh, and I feel like people want to know how. A lot of you might be really working, you know, law of attraction. You know, like you're, you're, but you've, you're also the second person in a row with the Wheel of Fortune, so. Yeah. So even though people see you as incredibly, like, beautiful, um, nurturing, you know, somebody who's, you know, you, you are home to a lot of people. Like, you are the touchstone for a lot of people. Um, and at the same time, you have clearly, clearly set boundaries that you, yeah, there's definitely behavior you will and will not, um, deal with and you're very clear about it. Because you've dealt with really difficult endings. But now your energy is really, uh, it's, it, you know, you set boundaries because of difficult endings, but what you, but what you have done is like built yourself to be incredibly strong, stable, while at the same time kind, and, and you are, you're working and reaching towards your future goals. And I feel like because you're, it's like what you're seeking is seeking you. It's like you, you have both, you know, you've cut out the things that needed to end, like needed to end. Um, and you, you're, passionately moving towards the future and and because of that the things that you want at least people see that they're coming straight at you yeah and it's because like you moved the the wheel of fortune in your favor like you I mean, you may have seen things in a different light, but I feel like it's other people. It, it, other people really want to be able to see your perspective, not not because they. And and I'm when I say that, it's not because you know it. it it's not necessarily because they're like, you know, I have to have the feels with you. It's because they want to know how you do the magic you do because you ended the bad and you're like I'm independently moving on to the good and successful with the moon I people see you as very mysterious and I feel like you're letting good things happen for you you're, you are, you know, you are absolutely willing to put in the work, um, but you're, and you're absolutely 
putting the vision towards the future, but it's almost like how it happens for you that ends up being a mystery. Uh, that ends up being something that looks like luck. So the Five of Swords came out. So the Five of Swords, I'm going to get clarity on that, but let me pull up one more. Well, I think that actually gave me the clarity I wanted. It's just you took... You converted, you know, harm intended into spiritual growth. Like, it's uh, so it, it, it just appears that every time it, it's almost like people who didn't mean you well only realized that the the things that they did ultimately only made you stronger like you you weren't weakened by their bad behavior you were you were just turned into something much stronger and i feel like it you know people People have tried, like people, are people trying? Like, I feel like, because I don't feel like you're winning at any cost. It's just like every time somebody comes forward with this negative energy, you, people don't understand how you just... Yeah, you you are people see you as incredibly strong, but they it's almost like because your strength is very internal and you are actually somebody who's very, you know, kind. I feel like sometimes um you uh, you've definitely dealt with people who have treated that as a weakness. And, um, and the thing is, you just come out, you just come out better every time. Like you're, no matter what happens, you just, you're like, I'm trying to ruin your life. And you're like, well, I have just up leveled. It's like every time, every time something, uh, somebody comes around and they mean you harm, uh, I think that you are definitely like people feel you're blessed and I feel like you are. Um, that doesn't mean that you didn't haven't dealt with bad things. You know, people have definitely tried to take you down and it is not from, um, you know, there, you know, it's not, but it's, uh, I've, I've lost my ability to be articulate, but it, <laughs> so it's just you get to another level of healing and hope because I feel like you realize that the real battle that the other people don't matter as much as you, as your own internal strength. And I feel like you have been emotionally guided uh so i feel like oh, let's see i'm trying to see because you had the pentacles the the queen of swords the queen of cups and the empress um yeah you just keep up leveling it's and it's like the people the people who meet in you harm aren't able to really make the dents that they think that they can and then you know who they are so you just cut them out 
and just continue to um so people think that you are incredibly impressive that you just continue to shine how do others see you I feel like people see you as mysterious. Like with this moon, there's the, the mystery. And I feel like you confuse some people. Because, again, I feel like a lot of people, until they test you, think that you're a lot softer than you actually are. So... Are you, so I feel like it's not that you're being inauthentic and it's not that you're, you know, hiding, um, but it is about like people not really understanding how to read you. And I feel like uh, some of this is because they may never have met anyone like you. So, so yes, um, and I feel like partially, you know, this causes people to not know how to move forward uh, sometimes with you. They also sometimes try, to take advantage of you, and then, um, the problem is, is they never get the advantage, yet you always do. People don't understand. They do, however, realize that you have this immensely healing energy. Um, yeah, so people, you know, you're somebody who continues to pour, pour out the cup of love. And it's one of those things that really brings on healing in others. So there are definitely people who want an emotional new beginning with you. People who love this, this watery healing energy. You're definitely somebody who stands out. Like the Empress, three of the Queens, the nine of of pentacles you know you are somebody that and occasionally people try to tear you down because of that people um feel there is a sense of there can be a sense of inferiority that some people feel regarding you which has nothing to do with you and I think that you already know it has nothing to do with you um so you're in the meantime you're sending out pure positive loving energy and the people who the people who who are willing to treat you with the kindness and respect that you deserve get to stay and those who don't have to leave because um with the ten of swords again you you i feel like you've um you've tried to 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 bring others along before and you absolutely can but you can't bring along people who want to tear you down you can only bring along people who want to improve so yeah people see you as somebody who's incredibly emotionally developed like they see you as somebody who's truly got their their stuff together they they see you as as somebody who's wise they see you as somebody that is 
extraordinarily prosperous. Again, wise. <laughs> I'll find it eventually. Um, so, I, I, I did have the gear, which is about working together, but I feel like... Uh, It's just, you definitely, people see you as, as having, that you have had a major rebirth that you definitely had to, uh, that you had something that you definitely had to end with that 10 of swords energy that you, uh, with the 10 of swords and the queen of swords that you did, you know, cut out the thing anything that wasn't bringing you towards your 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 greater goals um and then ultimately i feel like you have one or two people in your life that that you know just wouldn't get that they you know that that you had to to cut them out but like ultimately people realize that when they work together with you like people want an opportunity to work together with you and they want an opportunity to because they just realize who you are and what you've become and this incredible strength. And with the with the olive branch with the like there is somebody in your life who wants, you know, healing a renewal, a new beginning with you. There's somebody who wants to put out an olive branch. Um, th there's somebody, uh, they're definitely, you actually bring a lot of attention. Like, a, you know, you're, you're not one of, uh, I, I don't think it's actually really all that possible for you to, to it, people pay attention to you, whether you want them to or not. Um, so you do, I feel like that, that there definitely is, you do have romantic interest, but I do feel like there is somebody in particular who wants a renewal with you, but obviously, um, you've cut out some people for a reason. So <laughs> whether or not you, you decide to do that, that is entirely up to you. Uh, I can only say that people see who you are, what, what you've made out of your life and, and they, they, they would like to be a part of it. Um, I feel like over and above romantic relationships that you are somebody who's, I, I just heard emotional rock and I think I did use rock earlier. Um, so you're somebody who people come to when, when they want healing and help. Um, and you're somebody who's very good at that. Um, and I feel like a lot of your, of, of your journey that you have, um, that you have done really well is helping the people who are willing to be helped and releasing the people who aren't. So I really hope, <laughs> I hope that helped. Thank you so much for everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I am doing a free giveaway at 5,000 subscribers. So just make sure you're subscribed and you comment and you're in the running. So we're going to move on to our gorgeous pile number three. Hello, my gorgeous pile number threes. How do others see you? Eight of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. Queen of Wands.
and the uh, Ten of Wands and the Page of Cups came out. So the Queen of Wands is somebody that is incredibly strong, is a go-getter, goes towards what they want. But they do feel like there has been something that's that's been holding you back that either you have let go of or that you're going to realize that you can let go of because you were you were you were always too strong to be in this cage with the wheel of fortune like with the wheel of fortune People feel like things have started to, to change for you. Yeah, I feel like this being willing to drop the burdens is really helping you towards moving forward with the Page of Cups. I do feel like that there's somebody in your life specifically who wants to make an apology. I feel like they might have, they definitely want to heal a situation with you. Uh, I feel like ultimately you're, regardless of whether somebody comes forward and apologizes and relieves this burden from you, regardless, you're going to drop it and move forward. Because I think that as soon as you knew that that you weren't actually in a cage uh, there yeah there wasn't really anything that could stop you so with the queen of swords i feel like yeah people feel like that you have become a little bit colder um i think that they realize you know, people understand why, like people understand that it's like you have, you, you learn some wisdom, but it was at a price. Um, however, you're, you're just moving forward, but you're being shrewder. You're being smarter. You're making sure that you're, you're fighting for what matters to you. How do others see you? Yeah. And because you're willing to do this, uh, you, you've you've taken this time to heal. You've set down your burdens so that you can move forward. You've, uh, you know, released yourself from from the limitations. And you've, uh, yeah, you've real uh, released yourselves from any limitations and you're realizing that there is nothing that's holding you back that you are you do have momentum or at least people see you as, as somebody that you're you're willing to just if you need to start from nothing you'll start from nothing but you will succeed so the queen of swords the queen of wands the queen uh and the queen of cups I feel like people are truly seeing how multidimensional you are as a human being. Like they, they, they've seen your passionate fiery side. You're, they've seen your matter of fact, um,
and like business like efficiency side um they've seen your and they've seen your loving and caring side and i feel like you did have to make serious boundaries and make serious cuts in your life but um but you still have this like people still see this inner caring loving sensitive portion of you and i kind of knew that this was going to be here and it is good that the star is out i feel like i i, I kind of knew this was coming out but i feel like it's not so for those of you who are scared it this is you know you've already been through <laughs> the tower and you've done what and and you're doing the healing like the 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 uh, the star comes right after the tower you've you're like no matter what anything that that wasn't meant to stay you know fell down and you 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 took your energy you cut out what what wasn't supposed to be there you took action towards your objectives and you still maintained your loving core and because of that momentum momentum you're like people see people see a a certain unstoppableness about your nature that that things can fall down for you and that you will heal that you will you know that you will come out better than ever so people see that energy about you they see yeah like they can't help but see the grace in which you in which you make things happen and i do think that yes there are some people who want to come forward to, to apologize uh but then again you're definitely not waiting for an apology to uh to re uh, to put together your life again you're you're willing to let and, and even though you know what happened to you you know, it was, you know, not, it was, a, it wasn't a fun experience. It was pretty intense, but there, but people really feel like there is no stopping you as a human being, as a person. So, um, I feel like you did have people who treated you coldly. And I feel like you did have people who were, were purposely being sneaky. And that's one of the reasons why some things needed to fall down. Um, because this isn't an energy that you're in alignment with. Uh, I do feel like somebody was, has, uh, had presented themselves falsely to you, like was acting sneaky, was, you know, was being cold. And this did result in heartbreak for you, but I feel like you're definitely, if you're not completely like you're you're definitely on the mend you're 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 definitely i feel like people are starting to realize that 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 it was their loss um that if anybody like was like the people who who were trying to play you may have played themselves like they they realized that they were the person who put themselves you know out of your life so with the ace of wands i feel like people feel like you're you're with all this energy all this momentum you're going towards a brand new 
beginning in which you are really and truly, you know, moving towards your goals. Um, and I feel like you're doing it at speed. You're like, people feel like it's, it's actually, it's time for you. Like it's like things are happening. Um, and it's, it, it, you know, it's, it's just, it's your time to shine. So with amigo or friend, um, there is somebody, I feel like you, you may have had a friend, like some of you, you know, you lost what you thought was a very significant friendship in your life. Um, some of you are really actually bringing in more friends. Um, uh, and it could also be a little bit of both. Like some, some of you may have had to shut somebody out of your life because they did not meet you well. Uh, like they, they were a friend, not a friend. Uh, but some of you are actually bringing in like platonic soulmates, like people who are meant to be on your life path. Um, so I feel like there are definitely some people who, who can't help, but, you know, want to be somebody who's supportive on your journey. So with the, the crown, yeah, <laughs> you, you had three Queens, like people in general realize that you're amazing, that you're the, whatever happens, you're not only rising to the occasion, you're going to exceed any limitations that, that might have been perceived because things you just people feel like they're getting a clearer and clearer vision of you and it, and all of it's impressive. And I feel like people really think that even though, you know, you're willing to, to cut the losses, um, so that you can turn things in your favor, but you, you're still somebody who really, speaks from the heart. So with the cat, I feel like, um, uh, where, where you are somebody who's cute and cuddly, you do, again, it is about, you know, there is going to be a certain amount of things being on your terms. So I want to say thank you, especially to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. I appreciate it all. <laughs> and I am doing a free giveaway at 5,000 subscribers. I'll give away two readings. Um, just make sure that you have comment, commented and subscribed. I just realized that, you know, like people, people see the amazingness of you. They really do. All right. My gorgeous and talented pile number fours. Hello, pile number four. How do others see you? So the Hierophant. Justice. Page of Cups, Ace of Wands, interesting, because with, with the Hierophant and the Justice card, I got that, you know, that like the structure of things are very important to you. 
Um, I feel like you, you, you are somebody who is respected. Um, but this page of cups, like, I feel like you might have occasional moments where where you have this, it's almost like you do have this almost like public image of, 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 of fairness, of clarity, of, of, uh, but I feel like occasionally people see something else in you with, uh, I think I need to really clarify that page of wands. Oh, that's interesting. Some of you had a little bit of a past um, in which you have, you've uh, put an end to that. Um, and I feel like you might have, in order to do that, to have your new beginning, you, you've definitely put yourself, uh, made things very structured. I, I feel like you've wanted, the, uh, the people at least feel that you want things to be very clear. But with the, with the death on the page of cups, like, I mean, some of you, because the page of cups can be like this page of cups, uh, sometimes comes off as emotional immaturity for me. Uh, I mean, it can be like coming forward with, uh, love, but I feel like sometimes you can come off as having a really hard exterior. Yeah. Uh, but people see you as definitely passionate. Like you move forward with things, uh, with passion, but I feel like a lot of you, like you, oh, okay. So like there's this, a lot of you really try, or at least appear to other people to like be actively quashing your inner child. Like... A lot of people feel like you're very serious um, and that in some ways that that's actually stunting your emotional growth. But I feel, but it's like other people feel like that you're not okay with having emotions. This may be true. This may not be true. This is how other people perceive it. But it's like that you, like as soon as you have an emotion, people feel like you just, you cut it off. Um, and because of that, you know, it's, it's like your emotions haven't been properly able to develop. And, and you're all, and, and, and some of you, it's like you're doing this or, or people see you in, in doing this to be the person that you're expected to be. Um, and you are trying to do it so that you can be the most just and, and right. Um, but with the King of Wands and Ace of Wands. People see you as very mission oriented. Like you have a plan, a mission, like you are trying to manifest something really important in your life. And you, again, you want clarity, you want honesty, you want, um, so people feel like
people don't feel like you're flexible. Yeah, people do not feel like you're flexible. And people do want you to be focused more on the joy than just on the duty. But it's like you need to be able to let yourself feel. Um, and, and I feel, and it's like you, it's like you have guilt around feeling, um, which I can understand, you know, especially if, you know, at a young age you were punished for feeling, uh, anything or, you know, especially, you know, you, or you may have been around a lot of intensity and um you know people using their emotions to hurt and abuse other people um and therefore have really cut off yourself off from your emotions so that so that you like you might be afraid that you know that you'll relive a pattern of somebody else if you feel um And you do want to move forward in passion. You want to move forward in truth. Um, but like people, because I feel like, you know, at least to others, you you know, you may feel like you're feeling a lot of, of joy, but like people, It's almost like people want you to find your happiness. Like people. And I feel like that there's, there's people who genuinely just feel like they, like full of, of positive emotion for you. But it's, um, it's like you're not letting yourself feel and you're getting blinded to some extent by fairness, duty, ambition. But it's like, it's, uh, but a lot of people are feeling like you're not letting any emotion have any part of it. Like you can't even feel the joy of your achievements. So with the Knight of Swords... Um, yeah, people think that you can be cutting with your words because you do want this truth. And I feel that's one of the reasons why, uh, and people feel like you can be withholding. And they kind of want you to have a rebirth. Like, because, and I feel like definitely in an emotional way, got the queen of swords. <sighs> yeah, I feel so people. Because people feel like you're you're really closed off and you can be cutting and you're and and that you're actually coming from a place of you know I need to protect my boundaries I you know but unfortunately even though fairness matters to you um it's it's like you actually can't be fair if you're this withholding and people want you to have a rebirth so you can 
you know, like feel like they, they want more joy for your life. But like people see a lot of rigidity in you. Um, and it's not, it's not like they think that you're a bad person. Um, but because you're closed off in the heart space, closed off on the heart space, closed off in the heart space, um, you may, and, and completely cutting out any feeling then you may not be as fair as you think you are. So the hermit, they, do they see you as the hermit? Like, I feel like people want you to like make some connections. And I feel like spirit is, is trying to also, because this is about, you know, you know, knowledge from spirit. This is about, you know, spirit calling you. Like, I feel like spirit is trying to get you to do the inner, the inner work that you need to do so that so that you can uh, properly emotionally mature um because it's because you have a brand new beginning so like ace of wands ace of wands uh, and ace of swords have come out So the rigidity is actually uh, affecting your ability to move forward with passion. Like you are being able to, but the thing is, once you get this even deeper knowledge, once you stop completely demonizing your own emotions, and you know this, this... This definitely feels like you could have had like early trauma. Um, and this is a coping mechanism that, that got you through it. Um, and I feel like even, even the people who are, who are a little bit hurt or, or even very hurt by, uh, your inability to open emotionally, um, I feel like they still understand where you're coming from like they and they kind of they get that you are trying to come from a place of you know but it's almost like uh, they feel like you're going coming from a place of trying to do the right thing but it's almost like I heard doing the right thing on paper like it's it's it, it's almost so it, it's it's not that it doesn't matter, but it does feel like it's fully and not fully in the spirit. That it's because you should. But. But I feel like yeah, people do love you. So if you don't think that that's the case, then that's not true. Um, but f people feel like emotionally they can't get through to you. That doesn't mean that you're not loved though. How do others see you? How do others see you? How do... Man. Come on, which one? There we go. Uh, 
so people people see you as far less limited yeah like they 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 believe that your that your soul is limitless that your that you are somebody that is way more expansive than you realize Um, but, yeah, people feel like, it's like they, they feel that you, it's, it's weird because they don't think you're cold so much as they think that you just won't allow yourself to feel. that there's a part of you that's super vulnerable and you're just, you know, like you're just cutting it, you know. And with the, yeah, like people, people feel like there's something, you know, wonderful, magical, special in you. And like they, they want you to, you know, achieve, you know, the joy that, that maybe people, you know, feel regarding you. Like, you know, I feel like people want, People want you to be able to access your inner child, um, you know, especially with Tinkerbell, uh, you know, and you're definitely not, a, you know, it's not that you're trying to never grow up. It's just, it feel like a lot of you maybe had to grow up way too fast. Um, uh, and you definitely, you, you needed to sacrifice your emotions in the moment to get through and But people want you to be able to express your inner joy and, and playfulness. With the three of wands three times, um, you are very, very physically attractive. So I'm just going to say that, that, that uh, you know, people are very physically attracted to you. Um, and to some extent, maybe this is one of the reasons why you retreat emotionally, um, especially if, if, you know, you've had way too many people, um, treat you as if, uh, you know, you know, treat, uh, treat you as if your sexuality was the only thing about you. Or, you know, or, or maybe exploit you in some way. Because again, you're very afraid to feel. And that can definitely happen as a result of trauma. But peop but I will say mostly people you know, want you to, to find your joy again. Like they want you to be able to access your emotions and, you know, and, and, you know, often if you're getting through the moment because you, you, you know, you needed to not address your emotions to be able to get through the next day. Sometimes that's the case. Um, but ultimately people, do want you to be able to live more freely and wholly. Um, because people, like you have connections who really do see the value of you. And you are somebody that's, you know, 
I, I just, I get that there are some people who truly, like, all they really, really want from you is for you to speak from your heart. Um, because, like, they, they want, you know, I feel like it's even, like, good, bad, whatever. They just want you to, like, be... okay enough to you know explain your heart space like maybe not explain your heart space but like you know because that doesn't sound fun uh, <laughs> but just like be willing to articulate it like like uh, it's like you know they're deaf uh, they're just as willing to listen to like your pain as your happiness like but they do want you to express they do want you to talk they do want you to to ease the guard on your heart you know just enough that 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 they can get to know you uh, on on an even deeper level with uh with the cowboy hat i feel like this is confidence like i'm saying like a lot but you know so, uh, I feel like people want you to move into your, like, I, I heard confidence rather than bravado. Like, people want you to, you know, because you may be in a place where, you know, like, you're showing no vulnerability and then if there is a vulnerability you 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 cut it out right away you know like um but people want you people think that there is a lot for you to be really proud of like people do want you to be confident um but i feel like to some extent people see you as just trying to never show weakness And they, and they want you to move into the inner knowing of like every part of you where you can like, you know, have this, have this greater harmony. So I feel like, you know, people, people do have a lot of love for you. Um, and, and I feel like they, they, people even understand why you have these areas of rigidity that you do have where, where, where you have these definite no go um, areas, uh, no-go topics or something like that, but I think that people just want a greater level of healing for your, uh, for you. Um, in which, you know, you're not pretending you're confident, but you really are. Um, and they, and they do want to be able to, to feel like that they're, that they, uh, like people care about you and they want to feel like that you at least that you that you will at least feel safe enough to care about them you know like that they that they want to so they so it's funny because a lot of people see some fragility in in your bravado like they see that 
that it is coming from a place of pain. And I feel like, um, and like, I feel like most people like are trying to work with you. Like, but like they, but they, they'd like to see you be able to really feel and express joy and they'd really, um, like to, you know, feel, cause I feel like the people don't think that you're uncaring. Um, but they feel like you're maybe almost unable to work from your caring area. Like you're, you're the, like, they feel like your heart like you're so protective of it um that that it sometimes causes issues for you and the people around you um but ultimately i feel like most people around you want to want to make you feel safe um but i feel uh, but at least um, they feel like it's hard for you to feel safe. All right. Thank you. I hope that this helps you. If for any reason you want a free reading, I'm going to give away two as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers. So just make sure that you are subscribed and you comment. And I, I thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, booking readings. It all matters. And I'm very grateful.